Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark for today. I'm working on the base some more. And in general, what I'm wanting to get done today is I want to finish moving over the rest of my workshop. The only thing I've moved over so far is this. But first things first, I think I'm going to put up the walls and all that. Just so that way I have, you know, a secure place for all that. Just in case. Nothing should be able to get in the base. We Again, we put up those big freaking walls. All the way around. So nothing. Yep, yeah, I just misplaced the door. Nothing should be able to get in here. Now, I know this isn't the fanciest, fanciest, uh, workshop design. But honestly, it's, I just need to get out of the treehouse, alright? The treehouse is just so laggy to be in there. We have to get out. Alright, like, I have no other choice. And as you can see here, I have brought in over a lot, a lot of my dinos. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Yep, that's why I need the Rhino. As well, since last episode, I couldn't get the Rhino to land or stay landed on that foundation. So I got, like, bored <laughs> and built this little landing pad just for him. Now, we might turn this into something else. Who knows? We might make it, like, you know, one of those giant avi aviary towers. If you've ever seen one of those, I've seen people make them. We might do that with it, but, yeah. Uh, where am I going? I don't need to head back to the base yet. So I'm gonna get this piece picked up. Then I'm gonna head back to the base because I'm going to need ceilings and all that. But I need to get my walls fixed. Okay, hold up. See? Uh, uh. There we go. Okay, we're back at the base. And what we're basically gonna do here is we're gonna grab a lot of the workshop as of now. But mostly what we're gonna focus on is the generator. Because I'd like to get power up and going so I can get the cryo fridge up and going over there. Just so that way I don't lose all my cryopods. Okay, I have loaded up with a lot of stuff here. One structure I had to demolish and that was my grinder, unfortunately. Because it was damaged and I didn't have the stuff to repair it. So I figured we'll get it back over there. I barely use the grinder anyways. I actually have not used the grinder at all since I made it. So, yeah, I figured I will just get all the stuff I have on me, but... This is what I've packed up. The cryopods were already on me. I grabbed my vaults. I threw a bunch of all my old blueprints and all that into the smithies and all that. So that way they're still there. But I grabbed a lot of the stuff from the workshop. Grabbed the fabricators. Grabbed the generator. Um, the cooking stuff for like the kitchen, I left. Uh, but yeah. I just wanted to get the workshop cleaned out and put up. Okay, so we're back here at Carnivore Island Base. Which... Honestly, is looking kind of good. Alright, so, on the ground, the big square wooden box does not look that appealing, alright? But I feel like once I get a roof on it, I might even do another floor, maybe do... You know what? That actually might be where I put, like, my, uh, trophy... I wouldn't say trophy area. My, like, respawn area. My bed and all that up there. Make an area for that. Have a nice little landing pad for my personal flyers. Who knows? We'll do, we'll do something with that. But first off here... Let's get the vaults out of my inventory. Those things are going to be the heaviest, I feel like. Okay. Is that facing the way I want it to? It is. Okay, perfect. That should be good. Now we go... Generator. Generator, generator, generator. Where's my generator? There it is. Oh, forgot. Let's go with the generator. We'll throw the generator in, I guess, this back corner. And we'll throw in the gasoline so that way it starts running. Ooh. Ooh. What? It's not letting me turn on the generator. Why is it not letting me turn on the generator? Does it just not like where I placed it? This thing won't turn on. What the heck? This doesn't make no sense. Why can't I... place down the generator? Or why can't I... I can place it down. Why can't I turn on the generator? 
that's... I don't understand. Why can't I do that? Okay, so what... You guys can barely see it right now just because of the time of day and I don't have lights inside the base. But... I've built a little bit... Yeah, it's like bright when I'm trying to show you what I'm trying to... Like, look, look here. You can see it now. You can see what I built. Alright, a little area up there. I just framed it out with some pillars. Now what we're going to do is actually put it there. Now I'm hoping that this elevated... I'm hoping it's the water. The water is what's causing the problem with the generator. That's what I'm hoping. So we put this up here in the corner. We throw all its gas in it. And now we can turn it on. Thank you. It was definitely something with the water waterlogged foundations. Let's go with that. Because if you can see here, these foundations are perfectly level with the water. Like, I don't even know how I did it, but I did. That's probably also why the Rhino Nanthia can't land here. Is because the Rhino Nanthia's hitbox is ca like counting it as landing in water. So it kicks me off and throws it back up in the air. And as well here, we're going to move the ladder over so we can still access the fabricator and the... Can this be turned on? No. That's probably going to be... I just noticed it. Every single thing inside of this base cannot be powered or turned on. Due to... Is it seriously the water? Like, you're unpowered, you're no fuel. So, I so I just worked my ass off all of yesterday to build this foundation, to get to this point, put everything down just to find out, oh yeah, you, you can't power it. Like, they say powered. I keep on hitting tab, or I keep on hitting escape instead of, yeah. I've been playing way other games, and I've lost track of what controls I'm supposed to be hitting. But, yeah, no, I... Everything. Everything in here is... Are you serious? I can't... Everything I've put down, the fabricator... It's all unpowered. How? Why? I'd have to tear this up... I'd have to tear up this entire base. And I've already ripped up the other half. I've already ripped up half my tree base. Just to find out, I can't even build anything here without it. I can't even power these. Why? It's it's got to be the water. It's it has to be, because as soon as I got that up out of there, out of the water, it it turns on and works. So, why like? Why won't this work? It's, it's gotta be. It's absolutely the water. That's, that's the only thing it could be is the water. Like, this is irritating. Because that's what I, that's what my plan was for days. This was going to be the workshop. And well, I, legit, I can't build anything on this stone foundation I put down anything at all like if it takes power apparently i can't build it because then it won't be able to be turned on it's there this is not my flyer where's my damn bird there he is but why come on like arc survival evolved i could i used to be able to build like this you used to be able to put you used to be able to build an entire powered base underwater now I can't. Not a single bit works. Here. See, now that works. Yeah, I can put that up there. Uh, t -t -t fridges. Where's my fridges? Do you now work up here? Watch, it's going to work up here. Yes, it does. It's literally the water. That's... Well, this is a nice waste of my day, or my last three freaking 
days because I built this entire base in hopes that I could use this foundation. I worked in, in I worked a good three hours to get all the resources here, sat back, grinded, like just waiting for all these to craft, proceeded to place them down grinding it, built a shitload of metal walls here. This took me an extra three hours on top of the three hours for the stone. It actually probably even took me more because I had to get cementing paste as well. And then I got that massive one, let alone all the metal spi- I burnt through almost all my metal to build that wall. And now the foundation it's supposed to be protecting is useless. Utterly, completely useless. Like, it's pointless. I don't know what to do. I mean, what I can do is I can put the farms on this. Maybe, say, because where the Quetzal is is a very flat spot. Maybe I can put foundations down there. We build an actual workshop there. That, I don't know, we convert into just, I don't know, storage? Rip it down? That's one of my thoughts right now. Just rip the freaking thing down because it's ugly. Yeah. I was hoping this I was starting to vibe with this workshop. All right. I was starting to think all right, this is going to work. It's it's a square box, but I'll be I'll make it beautiful. And well, now it's quite literally useless. Legit cuz absolutely useless. I just also realized I ripped up my uh generator and left all the gasoline on the floor. I don't know. Maybe do you turn on if I give you a piece of gas? Nope. Okay. What I'm going to do here is you're going to get all my junk stuffs just so I can clean out my inventory. I am going to go proceed to calm down because I am fucking pissed. Because this, this is literally like, all right, I've just spent so much time dedicating it. Then I sat down here. I think, all right, I got to go get at least one ARC video recorded today. And now this ARC video is going to be delayed. By who knows how long, because I'm going to be pissed and not want to play Ark. And I will gladly be pissed and refuse to play Ark. And now there's also too much stuff in this. There's too much stuff in this thing's inventory, seriously, no? Or is that just being, yeah, it was just being a dumb dumb. Alrighty. But I'm going to go take a break. Ark has pissed me off, yet again. Because it's a broken game that never works half the time, so... Yay!